So recently you've bought a new hard drive, let's say 500GB hard drive. You put it in your system, you're very happy, you format it, and then you check, and what's up, you only have 400 and something gigabytes available. So why are hard drives smaller in size when you format them than when you buy them? For example, I have one gig, 180 gig hard drive SSD for my operating system, and I have two 1TB drives. But as you can see, I cannot use 80 here, I don't have a terabyte here, and same here. I only have 931 gigabytes available. How do you advertise one terabyte? Now, why is that? Well, it turns out if you look how drive manufacturers rate their products or how they use a scale, they use a decimal scale. Basically for them, one megabytes equals a thousand kilobytes. Same thing, one gigabyte equals a thousand megabytes. Same thing, one terabyte equals a thousand gigabytes. But Windows uses a binary system. So one megabytes is actually 1024 kilobytes. So basically, if you're expecting one terabyte to be a thousand gigabytes, Windows wants 1024 every time you expect a thousand. So basically, it's chipping away a little every time. So that's why the hard drive size advertised as a decimal by the drive manufacturers is smaller in the Windows world or the computer world because it's using the binary language. So basically, is it false advertising? Yes and no. Somewhere in the box it says that it is calculated using a decimal function. So they're not lying that one terabyte equals a thousand gigabytes in decimals, but in reality one terabyte equals 1024 gigabytes. So that is why the number that it says on your hard drive does not match the number inside of Windows. So next time you see a 500 gig hard drive and then you pop it in your system and you see that it's not actually 500 gigs, you'll know why.